Well, Cody from Final Fight would get his ass kicked by Batman. And of course, I'm talking about Cody from Final Fight for Super Nintendo. Yeah, this is Derek Yasha, and today I'm going to review Batman Returns for Super Nintendo. The fucking beat em up, dude. Seriously, fucking badass, fucking gangster, yo. Seriously. No, I know, that's why I was saying that, but um, let me get to it. Okay, so the story is pretty much like the movie. Just go watch the movie. You don't need to play the game to, uh, you know, uh, read the story, okay, or see the story. You know, watch the movie. It's, it's done way better in the movie. Over here, it's done okay, you know, but it, it follows the movie way too much, though. But I would rather watch the movie than, you know, to fucking read the, the, the cutscene story. I mean, they did a good job, but come on, seriously? Did you really have to, to follow it that much? No, I know. Let's get to the gameplay. Okay, this is a fucking badass beat -em up okay? Seriously, you know, Batman has a fucking awesome punch, awesome kick, awesome jump. And, of course, you know, the battering attack is, you know, um, uh, kind of, uh, you know, clunky a little bit, but that's alright, you know. Uh, mainly your special is, of course, test tubes, mainly, and, you know, it takes, uh, your health away a little bit, but yeah, you could keep on using it. I know it's a powerful attack, but, you know, you gotta preserve health, though, for real. Only use it when you need it, okay? Only use it when you need it, okay? Um, the bosses, you know, very challenging, okay, very, very, very challenging, all right, you gotta learn their patterns, you gotta learn their moves, and mainly what I heard reviewers saying is, oh, well, you know, they, they did this, you don't know what their moves are going to be, no, you have to learn what the boss's moves are going to be, so then you can learn how to dodge them, that's why they, they keep on doing that same pattern, okay, think about it, but yet, um, you know, one dumbass person was complaining, oh, well, you know, it's just, uh, I can't move out of the way, this and, te and that, no, yes, you can, you know, you got, you know, this thing where you could just, like, move up and down on the screen, of course, you know, from side to side, you know, you just, Press down on the direction and up on the direction. That's it. You know, just because your character is moving from, you know, left to right, you know, it means that you could, you know, go up and go down as well. Okay. No, I know. But uh, mainly, um, you know, the gameplay is good. Okay, let's talk about the music. You know, good remixes of, you know, the Danny Elfman scores, of course, you know, and, and it follows it very nicely, very nicely done, okay? Um, I'm going to give it, um, you know, perfect score for the music, okay? Um, let's see, um, the in-game graphics and cutscenes. Um, the cutscenes were just, uh, uh, photo stills, you know, like, uh, you know, like slideshows or whatever, but the in-game graphics is nice. You know the way that that the you know the characters look and Batman looks very nice. Okay, very nice, very beautiful looking for you know a Super Nintendo game. I'm not gonna even lie. Okay, um, mainly the background and details. Of course, that you know they got the the look of Gotham right. Okay, they did get the look of Gotham right. You know, mainly when you go inside buildings, you know, it's fucking awesome, dude. How, how the, the textures look in the buildings and, you know, like different environments. You know, like, you know, you go from buildings to sores to, you know, maybe the, like the, the zoo or something like that. Or maybe I'm getting it. Uh, mixed up with uh, Batman Returns for Sega Genesis. No, I know, but, um, you know, mainly the background 
you know, very beautiful for a, a SNES game, okay? This is just beautiful, man. And overall, the game itself, you know, uh, this is a very good beat-em-up, okay? Um, if you've been living under a rock, you don't know what you've been missing out on. Seriously, you don't know what the fuck you're missing out on. Now, this game could go around to maybe like 40 or $50, okay? Um, you know, I got my copy for four ninety nine. I don't know if you're able to be see that on there. Yeah, four ninety nine at Play and Trade when Play and Trade used to be the shit, but not anymore. No, I know, but I was lucky, you know. But this game does go around thirty or forty dollars. But uh, yeah. Um. Anyways, um, try to pick up the game on eBay or Amazon, and if you can't do it, then I understand. But. You know, guys, um, just perfect 5 out of 5. I'm out. Peace.